Have you wondered how the early disciples could die hold on to their faith? Have you wondered how the early Christians could praise God even when everything around them seemed hopeless and helpless? How do we also build up our inner selves to withstand the test of time? How do we establish a deeper intimacy with God? How could our relationship with God have a ripple effect on our family and the entire world? Faith of our ancestors, a weekly refreshing from the painting studio of Holy Cross Family Ministry in Ghana, seeks to address these and many other mind-boggling issues pertaining to our faith. A world at prayer is a world at peace. Welcome, cherished viewers, on our very first episode of Faith of Our Ancestors. Let us pray. O oh God, come to our assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our theme for today's episode is titled, March on in spite of the sea. And also, our text of reflection is taken from Exodus chapter 14, verse 15, which says, Yahweh then said to Moses, Why cry out to me? Tell the Israelites to march on. Let's listen to Aaron now and our guest too. Thank you. Faith of our fathers, the Israelites encamped in front of Pihahirot, between Migdal and the sea. They were chased by 600 of the best chariots and all the other chariots in Egypt, with officers in each. Confer Exodus chapter 14, verse 6 to 9. All Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, his horsemen, and his army gave chase and caught up with them. The Exodus experience is like driving to a place where there is an inscription, no thoroughfare. Driving to a dead end is devastating, but the worst of all is when the bridge leading backwards is broken. This is the situation the Israelites found themselves. In front of them, was the sea, and behind them was Pharaoh's troop. Yahweh had, however, told Moses, Tell the Israelites to march on. Hmm. March on. Beloved, take God at his word and march on in spite of the sea. In Exodus chapter 13, verse 21 to 22, God promised to be with the Israelites always. He manifested his presence with them as a pillar of crowd during the day and a pillar of fire during the night. God promised to always be with them. But when they hit the dead end, when they were pressed on both sides, when they needed him most, they no longer saw his presence in front of them. God seemed to have left them with their problem. He seemed to have abandoned them. The Israelites were thus afraid and they grumbled. Sometimes we feel we have reached a dead end, yet we are called to march on, to march on in spite of the sea, to march on in spite of our perceived challenges. Once God has already given you the go ahead, trust him and march on. Just like our ancestors did, let's march on, even when we do not feel his presence. March on in, in spite, spite of the sea. Faith of our fathers, Thank you all for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, press the post notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all. Stay blessed.